Hi, I'm Emil Preda. I'm Jeremy Wong. And today we are going to present you the most awesome invention ever. We call it Stalker 1.0. And you can use it for pretty much every expensive item that you have. And you can track it uh, using your mobile phone. And the only thing that you need is a SIM card that, uh, that's working. And a um, GSM signal. First, uh, we started uh, working with the GPRS board, and uh, it's pretty much a SIM900 uh, chip. You can uh, clearly see the SIM card inserted, and I had to solder wires or to provide power to the board uh, because Arduino can't deliver enough power. The board is using uh, 2 amps at 5 volts. This is the GPS board having connected the GPS antenna. And all we had to interface is with four pins, VCC, RX, TX, and ground. However, we have a problem because the voltage that it requires is 2.3 volts, and uh, it, it was way too high. In fact, uh, I broke the 2.3 volt rail on Arduino Uno. This is why I had to add a 2.3 volt voltage regulator. Here we have all the boards connected uh, to check their operation and make sure they work ac accordingly. Testing uh, took uh, quite a, a bit of time, so uh, in order not to overuse uh, the battery, I uh, used uh, a wall, uh, wall charger. And after the testing was complete and uh, it succeeded, uh, as you can see in the picture, we only use um, a power bank. So this is the code for our um, Arduino GPS tracker and to make this uh, GPS tracker input the coordinates that we need for sending the SMS we have to include the tiny GPS library and then we also have to include the software ser serial library so that uh, we can use uh, software serials uh, for inputting and outputting the data. So we have a software serial for SIM 900 which is the GPRS and then we have my serial for GPS. So first we define the tiny GPS variable. And then, so in setup, we set up the transfer rate for the serial and SIM900. And then we use the SIM900 power function to turn the uh, GSM board on. Then, and we have a delay so that the GPRS module has time to uh, log on to the network. And then the, the bit rate for my serial. So, we're using the SIM900 power function to uh, turn the SIM900 board on because when it's on its own with power, it's only on standby mode. So we're using pin 9 to turn it on. Next, we have a uh, send SMS, which sends the SMS to the phone. So we set the function to send these messages. So this is the maps uh, link combined with the coordinates and so that's the SNSMS function. Next we have uh, the loop function which um, sets the time for uh, sending the GPS uh, the SMS message uh, periodically and here we set the time to uh, 120 seconds. Next we have this so if there is new data coming in, we send this, uh, the SMS. So this function is for printing the coordinates to that precise uh, decimal number that we want. So, the, so we set it to uh, five decimal points. So in the Google Maps link, it's uh, five decimal points. And this is how it looks, our final product. It can be attached to any item you want to track. The board uh, is going to send an SMS message uh, with a Google link. And if you, after you click the Google link, it's going to send you directly to, the, to Google Maps.